Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hector and today we're diving into how to back up your iPhone. Whether you're looking to back up to PC, Mac or iCloud, I've got you covered. Let's get right into it. First up, we're gonna be covering how to back up to iCloud. This is by far the easiest method and it requires the least amount of effort to maintain. So grab your iPhone and let's head over to settings. So from here, we wanna to navigate to settings. Then we wanna tap on our name and scroll down to where we see iCloud. Here, you're gonna scroll down until you see iCloud backups. Go ahead and tap on it and now turn it on. Now, just tap on backup now. This will continue to go on in the background and you can continue to use your phone as usual. Your iPhone will start backing up to iCloud. The best part, your phone will automatically back up daily when it's locked, connected to Wi-Fi, and plugged into power. The catch, you'll most likely need to buy more iCloud storage since Apple only gives you five gigabytes of free storage. Next up, let's talk about backing up to the Mac. Since the release of macOS Catalina in 2019, iTunes was discontinued, but no worries, you can still back up your iPhone to your Mac, and here's how. Once again, let's grab our iPhone, but this time around, we're gonna need a cable. You might need a USB-A to lightning cable, or maybe a USB-C to lightning cable, or even a USB-C to USB-C cable. For this demo, I'll be using the USB-C to lightning cable. Let's start off by connecting our iPhone to our Mac. Let's navigate over to the Mac and open the finders folder. Here under locations, you should see your iPhone listed. If this is the first time you connect your iPhone to your Mac, you might need to trust the computer to the iPhone and the iPhone to the computer. Just click on it. And here you'll see a very familiar page that looks something very similar to what iTunes used to look like. Under backups, choose backup all the data on this iPhone to this Mac. I would strongly recommend encrypting your backup as that allows your safe passwords, your Wi-Fi settings, and stuff like your health data all to be included in the backup. Without encrypting the backup, that sensitive information will not be a part of the backup. Just a reminder, if you do decide to encrypt your backup, make sure you remember the password. Without that password, you will not be able to restore from this backup. Once all that's done, just tap on backup now. You'll see a status bar right down here, letting you know that the backup is in progress. You might be prompted to enter your passcode on your iPhone once again. Just go ahead and do that. Once you enter your passcode, you'll see a nice little animation on your iPhone letting you know that the backup is in progress. So what's the downside? Well, you'll need to backup manually and also ensure that you have enough storage on your Mac to be able to complete the backup. We'll cover other options in another video, things like backing up over Wi-Fi to your Mac. Finally, let's cover how to backup to a Windows computer. Once again, let's start off by connecting our iPhone to the PC. Once that's done, on the PC, open iTunes. If this is the first time connecting your iPhone to your PC, you will need to trust the devices. Once that's done, you'll see an iPhone icon right up here. Just click on it, and now you'll be taken to this page. Under backups, make sure you click on this computer. If you want your backup encrypted, don't forget to check this box. Once that's done, just tap on backup now. You'll get a status indicator right up here. And once again, you'll be prompted to enter your passcode. You'll get your indicator right by your battery percentage, letting you know that your backup is in progress. So is there a downside to this method? Well, yes, iTunes on Windows is an outdated piece of software. And also you'll need enough storage on your PC for your backup. That's it for today's guide on backing up your iPhone. Simple, right? With these steps, you can ensure that your data is always safe. If you found value in this video, I'd be thrilled if you could help me reach my first thousand subscribers by hitting that subscribe button. Please stay tuned for more simple guides for your iPhone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.